Okay, so today we are making homemade pizza. This recipe is by Chef RV. But for the toppings, I have decided for myself. And for that part, that makes it my own recipe. And I'm keeping the other half of my pizza dough because I'm planning to make a different pizza flavor for that. Okay, so you have to knead it though for about um, 10 to 15 minutes. And then if you are planning to have a thick crust pizza, you have to let it rise for about another 30 minutes as a second proofing. But for this recipe, I prefer a thinner crust. So I just had my first proofing for one hour, and then after that, it's done. Oops. So that's a fail. If you don't want your dough sticking on your roller, uh, rub the roller with your uh, leftover flour. Flour or flour, it's up to you in whatever way you want to pronounce it. And this is an easy way of putting your baking paper. Put it in your half and then another fold. Okay, and then you make like some sort of a triangle. Okay, place it in the center. Up with your pizza pan. And then trace the sides. And then following that trace, you just have to cut it out. Open it up, and there you go. It's the same size as your pen.
So actually I'm putting the minced garlic here but other than that I'm also going to put the garlic powder So this is now the century tuna Spanish style. This is quite spicy, so uh, this is not really for kids. This is a pizza for adults. And now I'm adding onions. And after that is the tomatoes. and capsicum you can actually use red capsicum or green capsicum and my favorite McCormick garlic powder and then salt well actually don't put too much salt but then the whole of my of this salt container is not that big and then pepper black pepper And this is dried basil. Actually, in Philippines, I do have a basil plant. And then I also have oregano. But actually, I, I find that oregano is better for yes. pizza. Hmm? Yes. Coming! Our pizza is ready! Yeah.